What is the worst thing to happen to you during X? A little freaking rat dog of a chihuahua snuck in the room while they're freaking and attacked me. You have no idea how fast a man can move when there is a set of tiny evil teeth coming at your junk. I bought some fancy, organic lube to try with my boyfriend at the time. We get down to business and my vagina starts stinging a little bit. Then a lot. Then full on burning. We quickly stop and he says that his bits are feeling a little tingly, but not the level I'm on. I grab the lube bottle and take a better look at it. Just says normal, organic, unscented lube. I spend 5 minutes looking all over this damn bottle before I find the problem in the very last listed ingredient. Menthol. My vagina continued to burn for the next hour. Number. No. Dear god why? Same thing happened when my fiance and I tried those freaking fire and ice condoms. Except we were both in pretty significant pain afterwards. I have no idea why they still make those. Who buys them? I was banging my girl doggy style. Her dog jammed his snout in my crack and started licking my a-hole. Closest I ever got to a threesome. Post said worst, not best. Started farting uncontrollably. In rhythm to my thrusts. Thank god they were dry. My boyfriend let loose with a loud fart during some fancy moves. I knew he was a keeper when we both just died laughing. We've been married a decade now. I guess he just resonated with you. The guy had a sudden pain. One side of his peanuts and groin turned black and blue. Had to go to the ER. Thought I broke his peanuts. It was a blood clot that moved there due to what was going on. The erection. Do not take Eliquis if you are not healthy enough for exual intercourse now I understand. I once passed out mid climax. I didn't eat that day and I just collapsed on her. She thought I straight up died on her. Wasn't too serious, but was definitely not fun. I actually know someone who was with a man who died during X. He was an older fellow and I guess his heart couldn't handle it. It fricked her up for a long time. That's freaking terrifying. Worst for me physically. Purling both hamstrings. First one, then the other while compensating. Worst for me mentally. My GF's mum walking in on us. Three times now. Bonus afterward when I heard her gossiping with a friend about it over the phone. My just want to let THR GF's mum know ahead of time so she can find a seat before everything starts up. Such a shame. It was one of her kinks to be watched. Would make Thanksgiving even more entertaining this year. Bro. Three times? At that point you probably wanna start putting a sock on the door or have a serious talk with her mum about the fact she keeping budging in on you two boning. Had my cervix hammered at the wrong angle and bruised it. I almost went to the ER, but suffered through after some doctor google made me feel like I wasn't going to die. For once. I bled a little, but the pain lasted days. For sure was waddling to walk for the first day. Guys never believe it. But too big of a dong is totally a problem. Yup, one bad angle and everybody's upset. It's been 12 years and I'm still not used to his size. Proof that vaginas don't wear out. LOL. I was at a pure romance party and a girl complained about how big her boyfriend was, because her cervix just got pounded every time. The rep said to buy one of those rubber tube like things you can use to jack him off with and cut it down to like 2 to 4 inches and have him put it at the base of his thing while having X so he doesn't go in so deep. It really helped her out. So basically just a big rubber washer lol. Bump stop. She was sitting on my face, and I rolled my head back right when she came down. My front tooth pierced her about 2 centimeters away from her clitoris, by her urethra. She moaned and drew away for a second, then jumped up to the bathroom. I looked down and saw a significant pool of blood on my chest. I remember the sound of an ear piercing. Like rapid fire puncturing, but with my tooth. Jesus Christ. Not me, but a friend of mine blew a brain aneurysm. Gives a new meaning to mind blowing X. Dude that has always been an extremely specific fear of mine. Archer? I was eating her out. When she began to climax, she had her thighs on my shoulders with her legs up. She began squeezing my neck really hard. Not wanting to ruin her orgasm I kept going until I passed out from her choking me out like that. 
she thought she killed me. I was only out for like a minute, but to her it was like 5. Well at least that's not the worst way to go. Death by Snoo Snoo. D. 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 Zap. What are you, gay? On the one hand, he said, with a shake of his head, as he pondered the problem. Perplex there's a chance that I'll die, he explained with a sigh. But of course, on the other hand. X. I was getting a hand job from my girl, now X. And not gonna lie I just fell asleep. I was really tired from the night before, and the hand job wasn't that good either. She noticed when I started snoring. I remember my boyfriend and I rented a house for a weekend with some of his buddies. We were super drunk and went to bed and started x time. He fell asleep mid X. I then got up, got dressed and went outside to keep drinking with the guys. One of his drunk friends is like begging me to let him sleep in the room with us so he doesn't have to sleep on the floor. Drunk me was like yeah, okay. So then we go to sleep. I climb in on my BFS left side and the friend on the right. No big deal. But the next day my boyfriend was like what the frick you left me there with my dong out and then invited my friend to sleep next to me. Hudder still cracks me up thinking about it. They're hella close and we all laughed about it. Though we were so drunk that night no one knew, but my boyfriend. While having car X had a very nice elderly woman pull over to make sure we were okay. So, she didn't join. Guy I lost my virginity invited me over. We were both in high school. I apparently wasn't over my period yet so got blood on his dong and he got so mad he kicked me out. I had no car, so his best friend ended up picking me up and driving me home and apologized on his behalf. Had a one night stand that started and ended terribly. His kisses were like sandpaper. He finger banged violently and without commitment, and then complained about how dry I was. I was at my wits end, but recommended that he go down on me to moisten things up, and was hoping he would be good at something. Instead he told me that he doesn't do that it laid me back down and poured a bottle of water on my crotch, seriously thinking that's what was going to help. We were both pretty drunk, but I think I may have taken this guy's virginity looking back. I told him I had to pee, kicked my clothes into the other room and snuck out. Please ex gods, never again. The only thing I got from this was a funny story and, reluctantly, a wet crotch. What is with the violent finger banging? I had a guy who was basically cunt punching me for like half an hour. I had freaking bruises the next day. I hate that I can commiserate with you on this. Dbag ex-boyfriend thought he was a ex god cause he was slightly above average size wise. Well I was not turned on. No lube plus him just trying to get it in tore my vag. I'm bleeding and telling him to stop. He does, then just says I'm going to go finish in the bathroom without asking if I'm okay or what's going on. We were exes not long after that. What a cunt. Gag on my boyfriend's dong mid deep throat and let out a giant fart. Better than throwing up on his dong like me. Thankfully closed my mouth around it and caught it all. Made it to the bathroom, but it was still so embarrassing. I can't believe you threw up on her boyfriend's dong. This made me laugh maniacally. Holy frick man. Once, when I was about 17, my boyfriend and I had his house to ourselves, and didn't expect his parents to be back anytime soon. QXE time. It was the summer in AZ, and even with AC, things could get a little steamy. So we're going at it, missionary, completely naked in his bed. In the middle of XE time, you guessed it, his parents came home. No big, since they already knew we were boinking so we just continued our mission. Then I remembered that he didn't lock his bedroom door. I reminded him, but he didn't care, because his family is typically respectful of his privacy. Apparently they didn't realize we were home. We quieted down when they got home, and like mid thrust, the bedroom door opens. My boyfriend stops, but is hovering over my naked body, with his dong still inside me. His stepdad takes one step into the room and puts don't bf shoes, stands up, looks to his left, right at us in mid coitus, naked as the day we were born, and says oh, I'm sorry, backs out of the room and shuts the door. Needless to say we didn't finish after that. I sat on the bed for a good 20 minutes building up the courage to face them. 
they totally acted like nothing happened. It helped that they were a couple of old hippies, who were nudist. Still embarrassing though. My girlfriend and I were doing the dirty in her bedroom one afternoon when her mum took a shortcut through the bedroom with a load of laundry. We were mostly covered up, but there was no mistaking what was going on. Her mum stops and chats a bit with her daughter while I am still inside her. I just froze in place while they conversed, looking down at GF's beautiful blushing breasts. Then mum leaves and pulls the door closed. I finished. Very odd experience.